Hi, I'm Alex Grief, aka IV Crazy from Video Aerial Systems, and today I'm going to bring you a few directional antennas: the 7.5 dBIC helical, the 9.5 dBIC helical, and the 10 dBIC crosshair. One of the greatest things about FPV is you can change your experience simply by changing the receiver antenna, and it makes the biggest difference. The difference between a mile or two around the park and 20 or 30 miles over the horizon mountain surfing is all in the receiver antenna. It's probably the most important part, so be sure to choose it wisely. So these are some of my more common ones that fit just about every pilot. So which one do you choose? Well, here are three of my more popular antennas that fit just about any pilot out there, except for the guys that fly really extreme range in the 40 and 50 mile range. The first is the 7.5 DBIC helical. The great thing about the helical is this antenna will give you a little bit more than twice the range than your standard Omni antenna, such as the Cloverleaf or Skew Planer wheel. But the other thing that's great about having a directional antenna this thing has a beam of 150 degrees, but if you fly behind it or to the sides, it still picks up the signal fairly well. It doesn't punish you for getting behind it. So it makes it an excellent beginner's antenna. Here's the other advantage to it. What's called front to back ratio. The helical listens out in front a lot better than it does behind. So signals that you find around you, this thing doesn't pick them up unless they're right out there where the airplane's transmitting, which means you have a much cleaner video with a directional antenna as opposed to an omni antenna. And you get double the range. If you want a little bit more range, you can step up to the 9.5 dBIC helical. Now this one will give you another boost of about 40% on top of what this was, or close to four times what this guy was. Again, it's a helical. Now the beam is no longer 150 degrees, but now about 100 to 120 degrees out in front. But you could still fly behind yourself into the sides without having so much video breakup. Not so much as you can with a three turn, but it'll still permit it without punishing you too much. However, right out in front, if, especially if you have an antenna tracker, nothing compares to the 10 dBIC crosshair. This was developed by myself and Hugo of True RC Canada. Both of us have the same antenna. The difference is where mine exposes the elements, he simply covers his in a box. What's the advantage of the crosshair? Well, the crosshair again has a nice 100 to 110 degree beam out in front and a very, very high axial ratio, nice and compact size, and it's also light. The problem is, is when you co it comes to flying behind into the sides of the antenna. If you fly behind or to the sides of the antenna, don't expect to go too far. If you keep it within a quarter mile, you won't have a problem. But if you start tra tracking, you know, half a mile or three quarters of a mile, behind it, you know, the helicals are going to behave a lot better than the crosshair will. But on an antenna tracker, crosshair's top dog. This is a more advanced pilot's antenna developed specifically for FPV. If you're getting into other frequencies, these are 1.2, but when you get into 2.4, the five turn helical looks like this and the crosshair looks like that. So they're about a quarter the size of your 1.2 gigahertz antennas. I might be crazy and keep your wings in the sky.